there. And we are late to the party, and Disney just keeps dropping more trailers. I'm okay with that, though. Yes, and they have been dropping a lot of things uh, for Disney+, Plus, especially a long list of stuff that they were just... They have a whole thread on Twitter about what's coming up, and I'm super excited. I mean, it's technically uh, less than a month now. Almost there. Before we get Disney+, Plus and uh, one of those movies is Lady and Tramp, the live-action version, so... It should be interesting to kind of see. I saw the the other one. Right. It was it was cute. Um, so it's kind of be interesting to see more from that story because we know the animated movie. So let's see how it feels in live action. Already had it live action. Is look who's talking now. And if Disney Plus doesn't have the not quite human trilogy, no deal. But <laughs> let's take a look at what they have in store for us uh, with the second trailer for Lady and the Tramp. Now. Being a street dog isn't so bad at all. He's a child. I'm free to be whoever I want to be. Ah, hey, Pleasure, for look at him. Walk wherever I want to walk. Hey, hi. Are you two uh, twins? I'm our husband, pal. Aha. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, look at this. You know what? Fine. And we know he'll always stay. Just remember, I got this the old fashioned way, I stole it. Sounds like Kurt Russell. Come back here. Whoa, snob hell. There we go. I got my collar. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Let me just take a little guess here. You're the center of your people's universe, right? You could say that. Your family's just about perfect. Don't, don't, please don't. Well, damn, Katie. That, that's basically all over now. You're about that to be replaced. Nicole Brown. It was. Replace? Me? I don't think so. Lady, this is Lulu. <laughs> oh, no. When the baby moves in, oh. the dog moves out. Help me get this thing off. Uh, I'm sorry. This is not awkward at all. Aw, oh, is that how the beaver is putting it into it? It's a statue? Oh, yeah. It's totally safe. I'm not gonna do that. You're crazy. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> wow. Oh, what is look this at this place? Place. There's a great big world out there. There's no fence around it. Come on, right here. It's a whole movie. Basically. Every day could be an adventure. I mean. We're already. Hola, norte. I so, mean, yeah. Well, I mean, we're already locked in for three years for Disney <laughs> Plus, so it's not like this this trailer is trying to grab me as far as like, hey, get Disney Plus, because we're already invested in Disney Plus. D23 members. Yes, but I will say that it does look cute. Um, I think that it. it it does bode them well to put it on Disney Plus, and I will definitely check it out because it will be on Disney Plus, so I'll watch it then. One of my favorite characters from the or the original cartoon is the beaver, so I'm kind of sad because it looked like she was getting the muzzle off through a little beaver statue. At the same time, I'm okay with it because then it kind of bodes it a little bit more in reality to have the animal there but at the same time I know there's other movies out there that have like actual real animals right. doing these things too you know like Dr. Doolittle when right. they had all the animals there so it's not far-fetched from having like a beaver there but at the same time it's like and they're going more so the way that they did with the Dr. Doolittle done with uh, Eddie Murphy where it is a real dog and their mouths are moving just to kind of uh, keep you know, the character in play versus Look Who's Talking, where the dog's mouth didn't move. It was just more like inner thought, inner monologue, but yet the dogs could talk to each other that way. So I do like it this way because it's more like the cartoon with them talking to each other. And it's not fully CG because we've seen the dogs. One of them's from Arizona, rescued and put into this movie. I do feel bad though because like they're everywhere. This trailer was dropped during Dancing with the Stars and even the dogs were there too. So it's like they're carting these dogs all around for the press because doing press looks exhausting. And now they got these poor little dogs and there's only two of them. It's not like Babe where there's like <laughs> 10 pigs that are doing the same thing or like uh, 101 Dalmatians when they had all the same dogs 
playing this, you know, same character. Right. Here, it seems like there's only one of each one. So. Yeah, but I will say, I mean, he, he is a rescue, so... Correct. He does He's have, living the sweet life, too. Yeah, he still has, like, he is having this thing instead of just being, you know, waiting of there course. for somebody to take him, so... They better be giving him plenty... There's plus and minuses to everything. They better be giving him plenty of canine crunchies, even yes. though that's 101 Dalmatians, I know, but Lady in the Tramp, it could Same go into universe, this world, Disney. Too. I like that they're going through, like, a period piece, too. Uh, it's not like modern-day Lady in the Tramp. We're going old school with it, but, I mean, it's gonna be something to watch while we have the service. It's not like we're going out to pay for it. If they were to put it in theaters, I probably wouldn't go watch it in the theater. And I think that they know that. Right. So putting it on the Disney streaming service, like here's the opportunity to watch uh, Lady and the Tramp right. uh, live action version because I know that that's kind of their kick right now. Right. So it, it uh, Disney Plus is definitely the good place to put Lady and the Tramp. Yep, and the voices, I mean, the voices definitely did sound uh, familiar, so I'm thinking, was that Kurt Russell that was doing the it voice? It sound they... like Kurt Russell to me, I'm just saying. I mean, they're, obviously, they more it's than Justin likely... Justin Thoreau. Justin Thoreau, okay, so that kind of makes sense because... And Tessa Thompson. Oh, really? Interesting. So, I mean, Tessa Thompson, she's killing it right now in the Disney camp. Justin Thoreau does stuff, but... Other than that, I can wait to see it, but I'll see it when it comes out for Lady in the Tramp. So thank you so much for watching our reaction to the new trailer for the live action a Disney streaming original Lady in the Tramp. Sam Elliott is trusty though, which is exciting because he definitely has that character mentality. But either way, thank you guys for watching. You can like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Stardust. All the social networking gin joints, you know where they are. Kicking the party, feel the party, keep the party going, and our Patreon gets us where we need to go. Check out our vlog we just shot at Universal Studios during the daytime. Then we will have our HHN Halloween Horror Nights vlog coming out very soon. So subscribe so you don't miss it. But thank you guys so much, and as always, now it's time to say goodbye. This party is over. Bye. Bye.